Tēnā koutou katoa, no mai, haere mai, and welcome to St. Patrick's College Silverstream for this first 15 traditional between St. Patrick's College Silverstream and Palmerston North Boys High School. Silverstream last year winning this traditional up at Palmerston North, 16 points to 5 in a defensive display that nullified the power of Palmerston North. Palmerston North's pre-season though has been very strong. They've played Six pre-season games and won all of them, particularly last weekend. They beat Rongatai College up at Hastings Boys High School, 54 points to 14. Silverstream coming off a good win against Gisborne Boys last week, winning 47 points to 10 in Hastings. So an almighty traditional, when you look back over the last decade in this rivalry, there's not much separating these two teams. And let's look at the rosters for today. Thompson took a power for Silverstream as the fullback. The wings are Jeremiah... Palosuma and Kenny Manu Leatoa in 11. The midfield is Elijah Solomona and David Tokolotoa. First five and captain and also the head boy of the college, Maui Winitana Patalasia. Halfback is Ollie Cuff. Eight is Brandon Stoy. Seven is Jackson Mendoza. Six is Drew Berg McLean. The locks are Blaine Captain and Alexander Hewitt. In the front row is Heath Tuival, Kobe McDougall and Noah Crinan. Both teams coming out onto. The Paddock wearing their traditional strips today. Farmers North wearing their traditional white. Let's look at their roster. Fullback is Jamie B. Joan. The wings are Josiah Simmons and Nehi Mayasua. Midfield is Tane Harvey and Ryder Croswell. First five is Liam O'Connor. Halfback is Cooper Fennell. Eight is Quinn Sturmey. The flanks are Tavita Fakahal and Ollie Barman. Locks are Connor Giltrap and Bradley Tocker. In the front row is Jacob Booth, the captain, Eli Alderin and Logan Wallace. As both teams prepare for the Huckers, so sit back and watch some true first 15 passion.
The challenge has been laid down between both these fierce rivals, and it was quickly for the match day referee, Hamish Mixter, who got in there quickly before any heat butting could occur. Here's our referee for today. 96 Premier Games here in the capital city. He's an accountant by trade, and just recently he joined the Wellington Rugby Football Union Board of Directors. Hamish Mixted, very experienced referee. And it will be Silverstream kicking to the southern end of Silverstream number one, Palmas North, to receive the ball. So Maui Winitana Patalosio with the ball in hand. This, this last week's game against Gisman Boys, he was participating in the O'Shea Shield and the match is underway. And it's been taken well down that time there by the captain, Eli Oderain. Near 13. And early penalty. Not rolling away against Silverstream is the call from Hamish Mixted. So an early penalty here for Palmas North Boys High School. Palmas North line out, 10 metres inside Silverstream's territory on the embankment touchline. Big throw here for Eli Alderain, the captain. The early standard's been set by Hamish Mixted. This is the Wallace Cup, the first 15 traditional, well-known rural family. family. Hence the trophy's been named, it's been picked up, a great pass picked up there by Noah Crinan. But the ball has been lost into contact, so... Palmerston North now looking to use the Savannahs. The advantage has been called over. This is a great run here by Sewer, and he's been drifted into the far touch line, and it'll be a line out for Silverstream, roughly about seven metres inside their own half. Beautiful conditions here at the college this afternoon. A little bit cool to start the day, but it's relatively warm out here. In the suburb of Silverstream up in Upper Hutt, Silverstream founded in 1931. Here, Richter is Rob Ferreira. And their motto stands for Sectaro Fidem, hold fast to your faith. Mitchell Forbes and Norm Hewitt, former All Black, coaching the first 15 here at Silverstream. So it's going to be a scrum because the option was given. It was knocked out, knocked on before it went into touch. So the option was taken. On Silver Stream to put a scrum down. So this is a good early battle so far between these front rows. Silver Stream two weeks ago had a narrow loss to Hastings Boys High School. 21 points to 14. That was played at the end of the facility. And now it's turned into a state-of-the-art sporting facility. It's also home to the Lions, the Hurricanes. And the Wellington Phoenix driving up. So early stand has been set here by Hamish Mixted. Ollie Cuff passes the ball out into Elijah Solomona, looks to cut them open, and he's the younger brother of Emmanuel Solomona, who was a star for the Silver Stream First 15 of the previous two years, now playing his trade for the Upper Hutt Rams. Elijah Solomona, like his brother, making the conversion from flanker to second five. Good charge here by Alexander Hewitt, the son of former All Black Norm Hewitt. Cuff out to Winitana. Puts on the dancing feet. Goes for his own and he's dragged down that time there by Quinn Sturmey. And Sturmey, his sister, is a product of the Manor 2 Cyclones. Good football team, that one. Back in the hands again, this time with... 
Noah Crinan cross kick comes through from Winnie Tana, but he's absolutely shanked that like a dead pigeon. And we've got time off here as a Hamish Mixted consulting with Palmer North Boys High School for a penalty infringement. So roughly four and a half minutes gone, the score nil all, but a good scoring opportunity here for St. Pat's Silverstream with our leg to take the points. And the shot has been called, so it will be Ollie Cuff, who last year scored 78 points for the first 15 as their goal kicker and try scoring machine that he was. Successful penalty by Ollie Cuff, so 3-0 is the score. Roughly nearly six minutes gone in the first half. Was a change in the front row for Silverstream on the programme. McLean Forbes starting ahead of Heath Tuival, so a bit of a change there just prior to the start of the game. Five out from the 22. Ball comes back to Winitana Patalicia. He puts the high kick down. It's well taken, but it's been knocked on. A mistake there from Palmer's North Boys High School. And so it'll be a scrum here for Silverstream. Roughly 10 metres inside Palmerston North's territory. Knock on that time there by Tane Harvey. Year 13 at the college last year was part of their very strong sevens team that won the Sir Gordon Titchens sevens over Labour Weekend. End up going up to the Condors and doing pretty well up there too. Solid scrum here for Silverstream. Ollie Cuff, ball at the back, but Palmerston North put the shunt on, looking to twist this around. Good look at that ball out quickly, and unfortunately, because of the metre and a half rule in first 15 rugby at scrum time, it's got to be a reset scrum for Silverstream. Silverstream that time, very lucky not to get the ball out of the scrum. So we were ready to get a fast ball through the tunnel this time. Referee mixed it on the other side of the scrum. Where he's deemed the concern was before. Quicker ball feed here for Ollie Cuff. Gives it out to Winnie Tana. Skips in front of Solomona out to Manu Leatia. And they've been brought down five short of the 22. Willie Turner passes off to his right. He manages to juggle the ball and keeps hold of it before knocking it on. So, Silverstream in the 22 now. Ollie Cuff into the hands. They go. Good slow build up here. Cuff again surveys the options, decides to pass out to his right. Good pass there from McDougal. Centre field, another penalty advantage being played against Palmer's North Boys High School. Good charge this time by Noah Crinan. Passes out to Ollie Cuff. They've got options here. They kick it through. Is that the right one? But it's been grounded in the end goal. That time by Liam O'Connor. And we're coming back for original Fridgman. And it's a yellow card. Offside is the penalty. And that is going to be Logan Wallace that has been sent to the Simbin for 10 minutes. Down to 14 men. And another relatively straightforward penalty here for Ollie Cuff. 
His brother, Ben, who was an old boy of Silverstream, became a referee instead of playing rugby. Ollie Cuff, another successful penalty in the score now, 6-0. Roughly 10 minutes gone in the first half. Thomas North Boys High School as well as being in Rongatai last week. Two weeks ago, beat St. Pat's Town, 57-26. Francis Douglas, 42-0. Honganui Collegiate, 30 points to five. So they have shown that they can break away. This is a good test for them. So far, the restart deep into the 22. Patalicio kicks it down, straight down into Liam O'Connor. Safe pair of hands, drives it forward. He's now six inside Silverstream's territory, looking to try and get some movement and padding going on. Jacob Booth met in a good tackle and driven back towards halfway centre field. Cooper for now reaching in. Sewer. Puts on the dancing feet, and here's an opportunity here for Silverstream. Manages to fend off one that time there, Manu Leatia. And he's going to be held up and brought down roughly six away from the 22 on the embankment touchline. Tukapua brought down, and a good tackle that time there by Booth. And Winnie Tarnit surveys, takes it into contact, brought down centre field. Off the bat goes Jackson Mendoza. Strong season last year, Jackson Mendoza. And here's a breakdown now as they go towards the 22 again. Palmerston North just got to be careful here. They're down to 14 men. McLean Forbes, the son of the coach Mitchell Forbes, takes it closer into the 22. Still center field. Good pick and go. Silverstream probably lucky there not to have that player penalized for flying off his feet. Slow coming here for Ollie Cuff. Comes out to McDougal. Into the hands, I took a pie, he's got to slide through, and this is going to be an easy try. And a comfortable try for Ollie Cuff. And this is going to be an easy try. And a comfortable try. So 11-0 is the score. Ollie Cuff with all the points so far. But there was an excellent setup there that time by Thompson. Took a pull-up. Managed to cut open the Palmerston North defence. That's at sixes and sevens at the moment. Ollie Cuff, two steps out to his left. Strikes off the right, easy as you like. 13 points to nil is the score. Thirteen minutes gone in the first half, and Palmerston North under real pressure at the moment. Palmerston North, uh, before the game, we're lucky to have a pretty special guest talk to them about the traditional and speak to them about the pride in the jersey. That is their most recent old boy who's gone on to great things, particularly with the All Blacks 15, Ruben Love. And he's out here watching the team, his old school play today. Ruben Love, if you probably noticed, has been missing the Hurricanes this season. A groin injury, but he reckons he's not too far away. The whole pass back and field to Bijoan, and now he cuts them open. This is excellent work here by Palmerston North, but the support player wasn't there. It's been picked up by Silverstream. Brandon Soy with the ball, and there's centre field 12 inside their own half. Palmerston North having pushed back by home referee Mixted. Get back on side. Good drive here by McLean Forbes. This is good pick and goes here by Silverstream. They're still centre field, running up towards halfway. It's a bit of push and shove in the background. 
Uh, play on is the call. McLean Forbes keeps building forward. This is good rolling momentum here by Silverstream. Their forwards really doing the damage, but they've knocked the ball on. And here goes Cooper for now. Passes out, and that's been brought down. Excellent work there by Connor Giltrap, keeping secure the ball. For now, back to O'Connor. Well, that, that was actually Ryder Croswell. And he kicks that deep into Silver Streams, 22. And Patilaseo having to chase back. Excellent kick. Well received that time. Comes into centre field. Liam O'Connor sees some open pastures there in the Silver Stream, 22. And that is a fantastic kick. It's one bounce and over the touch line. Not quite a 50-22, but it's going to be a line out for Silverstream inside their own 22. So, Kobe McDougall, year 13 at the college, made his move from Melbourne Boys High School. Yeah, boarding here at the college. Successful line out for Silverstream as they rumble it out. That time Elijah Solomona taking it into contact. Oli Cuff fires it back to his captain. Winnie Tana Patilaseo, he puts up the high. Gary Owen chasing underneath this is Simmons. Excellent work under high ball. Pass it in field out to... Bijoan, and look at that feet. He's going really fast. He gives it out to Sua. He kicks it deep into the 22. Ollie Cuffs back there. Plenty of time and space. And he kicks that one. Just comes off the side of the boot. Only a small amount of ground made. And so it'll be a line out for Palmerston North boys. Roughly about 10 out from the Silverstream 22. Western side of Silverstream number one. Sixteen minutes gone. Score is thirteen points to nil. The home side Silver Stream ahead of Palmerston North. Silver Stream have won the last two years. This traditional. Two years ago they won twenty-two points to twenty-one. McLean Forbes chasing after the ball, but it's been knocked on by Silver Stream, so an advantage has been played. So referee mixed it blows up play, and it's going to be a scrum to Palmerston North Boys High School. Roughly 15 in from the Western Dutch line. 10 metres inside Silverstream's territory. Now in 2020, there was no game that year due to COVID. So it's the only time these two teams have not played that traditional. 2019, Papas North Boys High School won here at Silverstream. 21-15. Actually, 2000. 22, also Silverstream won up at Palmerston North last year. 16 points to five. It's free kick against Silverstream. Going too early. Now this free kick is outside the 22, so Palmerston North will elect to put a scrum down. If they kick it into touch, they'll lose. Penalty there for Palmerston North Boys High School. Apologies, the internet just dropped out there slightly. But we're back now. And a line out here for Palmerston North Boys High School, taken nicely by Ollie Barnum. And the has been played here against Silverstream. This is a good run by the captain, by the older run. And he's going to be brought down just short of the try line. Palmerston North desperately needing some points. Out up is the call. And it's going to be a penalty here against Silverstream for back chat. And Palmer North have taken it quickly. And here they go. Can they score in the corner? They've got to score it here. Easy as you like. And Simmons goes over and scores. And Palmer North have taken it quickly. And here they go. Can they score in the corner? They've got to score it here. Easy as you like. And Simmons goes over and scores. Excellent fight back there from Palmer North Boys High School. 
Back to their full complement now. 15 players. Logan Wallace is back on the paddock. <laughs> so, Liam O'Connor. Second year in the first 15. His brother Tag was in the first 15 last year. Both two talented players. Particularly Tag at sevens rugby. He was extremely talented. Now playing his club footy in the Manawatu. Uh, here he goes, lining it up, a metre outside the embankment touchline. Four from the 22. Liam O'Connor's first kick of the day. Strikes off the left, and it curves away the left-hand post, so the score will remain 13-5. Roughly 20 minutes gone here in this 2023 traditional for the Wallace Cup. Healthy crowd here at Silver Stream this afternoon. Winter sports well and truly in effect. Winnie Taylor's kick, well, yeah, we called it a dead pigeon before. That was an absolute shank. Uh, Palmerston North keep possession of the ball. Don't allow it to go out. And so here they go. They look to stretch Silver Stream out wide. That time there, the ball's been knocked back that time by Croswell. Here they go again. They tidy up their patterns and get back to their work. And they're going to be brought down 12 out, but they've lost the ball. Palmerston North have knocked it on, and Silverstream look to pounce. Alexander Hewitt charges with that massive mullet that he's displaying at the moment. And here's a break by Silverstream. Brandon Soy out to Ollie Cuff. He scores his second try. And Silverstream extend their lead. Here's a break by Silverstream. Brandon Soy out to Ollie Cuff. He scores his second try. Great work again by Silverstream. Eighteen points to five with the conversion to come. And only Cuff with all the points so far in this match. For Silver Stream. This kick for Ollie Cuff is gonna be just a meter outside. Western 22. It's the most difficult kick of the day. His preview free, previous free kicks have all been straight in front of the posts. Cuff. Curves, it looks to twist it in, and that's a successful kick. So, 20 points to five. Silver Stream ahead of Palmerston North, or we could say Ollie Cuff ahead of Palmerston North at the moment. Restart taken by Liam O'Connor. Down into Silverstream's half. Well taken at the restart for Silverstream. And Ollie Cuff. He's got Solomona in support. He decides to take it up. Good charge here by Silverstream. No wind to speak of here in Upper Hutt this afternoon. It's a beautiful autumn day. Logan Wallace getting over the top of the ball. Excellent work by Logan Wallace. Getting over the top. He's identifiable by that red headgear. And Palmerston North, decision time here now. 20 points to five. Trailing by 15 on the scoreboard, and they're going to kick this ball into touch. A wise choice to narrow the scoreline margin. 
The flag of assistant referee Jamie McEwen comes up. It's going to be a line out for Palmerston North Boys High School. Roughly seven metres out from the northern try line. Ball secured, it's been taken into quarantine. Off they go again. Here goes the captain. Will he score in the corner? Easy as you like. And the try has been awarded. Off they go again. Here goes the captain. Will he sc and scores. Eli Oderain. Eli Oderain. To make the score 20 points to 10. Going for the offloads. O'Connor skips around one, passes out to Sua. He's one-on-one -on -one with Padalicio. An excellent tackle there, but Palmerston North still in possession of the ball. Really looking to speed this game up at Palmerston North. Silverstream defending, keeping behind the highmost foot for now. Here goes a good break here by Ryder Croswell. Passes it out to Simmons. He could go over and score two tries. He does. Two tries for Simmons. 20 points to 17. He does. Two tries for Simmons. Apologies there for the internet, it just seemed to have cut out again, but it's working back now. And Silverstream five away from the try line as they look to try and score their third try. 20 points to 17 is the score. They lunge forward, Amish Mixted reaching in like a forensic scientist towards the try. Try has been scored. And we'll do our best to identify the try scorer for you, but Silverstream extend their lead, 25 points to 17. So 25 points to 17 is the score. Silverstream striking. Roughly minutes remaining in the first half. Welcome back, folks. We apologies for the internet delay. We just, uh, the server we were using crashed, so we've had to go on to the, the backup one, but we are back here now. And so a good, strong scrum here by Palmerston North, but they've been penalised. 
Not keeping in straight is the calls from referee Mixted. So decision time here for Silverstream. Jersey 17, Pete Tuivau is on the field wearing pink headgear, which is the equivalent of like his brothers. Oh, Connor Tuivau, who was in the first 15 last year, now playing for the Batoni Colts. And a line out here for Silverstream. Change in hooker as well. Jericho Buddy Hinger is on the field. In Jersey 16, he's replaced Kobe McDougal. Taken by Jackson Badoza, but no one's there for the ball. It's been kicked through. Chasey back after his heft to Eval. And it's been picked up by Buddy Hinger. And uh, Silverstream. A near disaster there from their line out. No halfback there in the position. Winnie Tana out to Solomona. He's been matched opposite, his opposite number, Tane Harvey. Oli Cuff. Skips out in front, and here goes Jackson Mendoza, but he can't get to the ball in time. And so it's going to be a line out for Palmerston North. Roughly four metres inside their own half. This time, Palmerston North. Playing from the northern end of Silverstream, number one. 25 points to 22 is the official score. Not as per the scoreboard, the southern end of Silverstream, number one. It's not a draw. It's 25 points to 22. Another penalty here against Silverstream, not rolling away. And just got to be careful here of the whistle. Our referee mixed it. Good nudge, and it's uh, tried to be knocked back into touch by Winnie Tana Patalicio, but that's an excellent touch find there for Palmerston North. And they will have a line out 12 metres away from the Southern Ingle here at Silver Stream number one. Beautiful day here. Sun is out. In excellent weather conditions. Ball's in quarantine. Mendoza trying to disrupt it, and they've got momentum here. It's Palmerston North as they look to try and go into the lead for the first. Quickly gets back onto his feet, comes out wide, and this is going to be a try for Palmerston North. We have time off. It's been knocked on. The ball's been knocked on. So Silverstream survive. Stay ahead. 25 points to 22, but they're not out of the woods yet. Silver Stream under real pressure inside their own half. 25 points to 22. I think someone needs to go. He charges over the 22 and he's throwing off the white jerseys of Palmerston North. He's nearly run the whole length of his half. And it's been brought down, but it's been turned over by Palmerston North. Good work. And they look to speed it. Got the ball. And here goes Manu Leatoa. Center field. He needs support players. Palmerston North are over this ball. And they've got the penalty. The support players for Silverstream were too slow. Stopped a certain try. Ball's been put into touch. There'll be a line out for Palmerston North. 15 metres inside their own half. Eastern touch line. Good line out for O. Pass from Fennell. Here for Silverstream. They hit 25 points to 22. Reset scrum. It's been a willing contest in this department this afternoon.
Good push by Palmer Snorf. Have they gone too far? They managed to get the ball, have they? Turned it over. But it's been reset. Have we gone past that metre and a half push? Ruling contest at scrum time, and Palmerston North at the moment have dominance. Now the push again, that comes out quickly, and here goes Silverstream. That's a good run at the back by Brandon Soy. Just short of the 22. Here they go again. Mendoza wrestles, offloads. Ollie Cuff tries to keep it in. But the ball has gone into touch first. And so Palmerston North will have the line out. About five metres inside their own 22. Time off as a few substitutions are being made for both teams. Jersey 19 for Palmerston North. Alex Palaso has come onto the field. Jersey 21 for Silverstream. Harry Stoop in the second season with the first 15 last year started in this game. And he's replaced by the looks of it, Jackson Mendoza. Ball comes back, centre field. Silverstream looked to charge it down, but. The penalty against Silverstream for being offside. It's been just the rate the arrival of the ball. It's finally arrived. So the penalties have been mounting up against Silverstream in the second half. Change of direction by Liam O'Connor. And line out for Palmerston North. Four away from halfway. The Western touch line. Well taken by Ollie Barton. Ollie Barton. A good charge by Tane Harvey. Silverstream under real pressure in the second half. Palmerston North have definitely come out with a wind up their sails. Ball has been knocked on by Silverstream. It's losing the ball well taken into contact. So but we're going to go back for the first knock on, and it'll be a Palmerston North scrum feed. Good feed by Fernell. And Palmerston North look to stretch out Silverstream. They've got numbers to burn out here, but they just can't control the ball. And Simmons has to juggle back, but it's gone into touch, and so it's going to be a Silverstream line out. Five metres inside their own half on the Western touch line. Good line out take by Silverstream. They're out centre field with the ball. They take it into contact. They need to tidy up their breakdown area. They're losing a bit of ball when they take it into contact recently. Here goes Winnie Tana Patalasio. Good tackle. That time by Croswell. Oh, Nolly Cuff reaching in like a forensic scientist to get the ball. Good carry. Only two away from halfway, but this bruising defence of Palmerston North, which has improved in the second half. Looks like Mendoza is still out on the field, so we'll just double-check 
the player that was substituted. Cuff has a change of forward and goes for a box kick. Kicks it over the top of Simmons. Two tries to his name this afternoon. And Parmesanov looked to run it. Good contest, willing contest at the breakdown. For now, fires it out to B. Joan. And it's been kicked through. And here goes Silverstream. Mendoza reaching after the ball. But he crashes into the post. And Palmerston North still have possession of the ball. They kick the ball into touch. Back down. It's bounced off. And it's been knocked on. But we have time off as referee Mix did. It's calling for the Palmerston North uh, bench, which is in the end goal to push back further as they were inside the end goal at the time. But we're coming back for the knock on by Silverstream. A scrum a metre inside Palmerston North territory, roughly 15 in on the Western touchline. Score is 25 points to 22. Stunning day here in Upper Hutt. Definitely a day for sunglasses. Kick through. Thompson took a power, passes it back to Manu Tia, and he couldn't control it, knocked it back, and they're now back inside their own 22, Silverstream, under all pressure, and they've been penalised. Under pressure. Silverstream player coming through the side. And this should be a well and truly easy three points for Palmerston North if they elect to take the shot at goal. And they have, and this is to lock up the scores. And it'll be Liam O'Connor, just the one conversion to his name this afternoon. But this one is pretty much well and truly forward, straightforward. Connor strikes with his left boot and it's successful and we're all tied up here at Silver Stream, 25 apiece. Yep. So the scoreboard is now down the southern end matching our score. I think they were just playing mind games with the opposition. Tends to happen out here at Silverstream. The score now is 25 all. And Palmerston North have really dominated proceedings. This opening 15 minutes of the second half. Changing halfback. Cullum Gallery is on the field. He's replaced Cooper for now. He's had a strong game. The nine for Palmerston North Boys High School. Alexander Hewitt charges it up, brought down four away from halfway. Holly Cuff out to Heath Tuival. He's lifted up and drumped to ground. Safely though. Center field with Solomona. They've really controlled him this afternoon, alongside Brandon Soy as well. And they're in trouble here. But Silverstream have lost the ball. Losing players at the breakdown. And Heath Tuival tried to go for the steal, but the ruck was formed according to referee Mixted.
Palmerston North elect for a kick and detach. There will be a line out for them. Five metres inside Silver Streams 22 from Bankman touch line. Now they re do really fancy themselves at line out time, particularly when they get the, the drive going. So let's see what they do here. Well taken again. That time by Guilt Trap. There goes the captain again. He's been dynamic in the second half. And look at him go. He's got pace to burn. And he's been brought down five short of the try line. Silverstream under real pressure. Have barely ventured into Silver Palmerston North's territory in the second half. Electing for the pick and goes. It's a loose ball. It's been picked up by Silverstream just outside their posts, and it's been knocked on by Palmerston North, so it's going to be a Silverstream scrum. 25 all. That's the score, and if the scoreboard remains a draw, Silverstream will keep the Wallace Cup. They are the champs from 2022. Thomas North putting the shunt on, and Silverstream under all sorts of pressure. They couldn't keep their body straight. This is a penalty pretty much directly in front of the post, and look for Palmer North to have a shot at goal here. But no, it looks like they're setting themselves up for something else, as we just, uh, no one can really control the ball at the moment. We finally, someone's finally caught the ball. And they're going to go for the the tap and the run. Logan Wallace out to Gallery. Still in front of the post. Silverstream defending Grimley. Here goes Palmer North crashing over the line. Referee mixed it, reaches in, and said it's held up. So Silverstream survive. And it will be a goal line dropout. <laughs> Patelosio. The goal line dropout bounces in front of Croswell. And Palmas North through the hands of Miller, controlling position of the ball. O'Connor, out to Harvey. The captain again with the charging run. They're now back into the 22. Silverstream not committing players to the ruck. But they now come in and they look to try and turn this over now, but balls come loose for Palmerston North. Slow, patient build up again. They have to start again. The cross kick, well, it's Cross backwards and gone into touch. So, good period of dominance there by Palmerston North and an error results in Silverstream having a line out. So, a big line out throw here for Silverstream. Taken by Mendoza. A good charge again. They look to try and hold up the Silver Stream player, Palmerston North, but he's been brought to ground. Holly Cuff. Good twist. That time a missile, and it's a good tackle that results in a knock on. And here goes Palmerston North. They can't control the ball through Tane Harvey, but they're going to have the scrum. So, bruising defence on Silver Stream in the second half. Palmerston North in total control of this match so far.
It's been time off here as players are being a 10 to. 25 all is the score. Roughly about less than 15 minutes to go by the looks of it in this match. At the moment, it's Palmerston North dictating proceedings. And they're going to have the scrum feed here from a missile tackle on the Silver Stream player. Stunning day here in Upper Hutt. Sun's out, it's very warm. The Woolens came off very quickly around 11 o'clock as the temperature shot up. An advantage being played here against Silverstream. And here goes Palmerston North. Disjointed in the back line, but we're coming back for penalty. Silverstream in the front row weren't keeping themselves straight. Uh, look for Palmerston North to plunk this into the corner for a land out drive, but looks like the kicking tee is running out instead. And so Liam O'Connor is going to have a shot at goal. This to give Palmerston North the lead for the first time in this match. Penalty is unsuccessful. Flags stay down from the assistant referees and Silverstream decide to have a run out of their 22. Excellent work. An advantage has been played here against Palmerston North Boys High School. Loose ball. And that's possibly, I believe, for one of those sternum tackles. Looked a bit like Hamish Mixter was doing the YMCA there, but... Line out for Silverstream. Nine away from halfway on the embankment touchline. Score is still 25 all. Roughly about 11 minutes left in this match, considering referee's time. There you go, Mendoza knocks it back to Ollie Cuff. They come out to the back line, and here goes Winitana Patilicio. Out to Alexander Hewitt. Smashed! And a good tackle. And Palmerston North getting over the top of the ball. Really been a real menace at the breakdown. Another good tackle that time by Palmerston North. They're really putting on the big hits on the silver stream forwards. And they looked and they've counterucked and they've kicked it through. And silver stream gather back in their 22 to protect the ball. Breakdown in the second half for silver stream is of real concern. It's Palmerston North are just pouncing on every ball. They pick and go again. That could be quite dangerous, but they've managed to secure it. Ollie Cuff passes it out. And here goes Silverstream. They kick it in field. But that's gone out on the full. It's a mistake there by Silverstream, and it's going to be a line out for Palmerston North, 15 metres away from the 722 on the Western touch line. More substitutions happening for both teams as we have time off. Time back on. Line has been knocked on by Palmerston North and Silverstream with an attacking opportunity. What can they do? Here they go, they look, they look to kick it through and pass it. It comes out to Jersey, 17, but it's been lost. It was actually Harrison Stoop in 21 that lost possession of the ball that time for Silverstream. And so Palmerston North right on halfway, the ball in hand. O'Connor out to Croswell. And they've got numbers, they're building up nicely here. Goes, goes the captain, he's been dynamic. And they stretch them, and this could be... A try, just short of the try line. But excellent passage of play there from Palmerston North. Going down the short side and really catching Silverstream napping. 
But Silver Stream aren't out of trouble yet. They've got to take this line out five away from their own try line at the southern end. That's actually a Palmerston North throw in. Apologies. Silver Stream player had taken it into touch. Well taken by Guilt Trap, and they put the ball into quarantine, and they charge forward, and they're going to rumble over and score. <laughs> and Palmerston North are ahead for the first time in this traditional. 30 points to 25 of the conversion to come. Rumble over and score. And Palmerston off are ahead for the first time in this traditional. 30 points to 25 of the conversion to come. Excellent team try by Palmerston North. About eight minutes to go in this match. Palmerston North not destined to take home the Wallace Cup at this stage. Silverstream. Being outplayed in the second half, particularly in the forwards. <laughs> Tough kick for O'Connor here. Right on the 22. Be two metres out from the Western touchline. Strikes it with good distance, but has drifted away to the left or right of the post. So the score it will remain 30 points to 25. Palmerston North in total control, but Silverstream, can they got enough in them? Can they do something special to fight back in this traditional? Tana gets play, kicks it deep into the 22. Well taken by five away from halfway in the embankment touchline. 30 points to 25. Palmerston North ahead of Silverstream. Good work there by Silverstream. Jersey 20. O'Connell is on the field for Silverstream. They replacement halfback. Patilicio. Change of direction. Silverstream. Take it into contact, and that time they've been wrestled to ground. Really haven't been able to crack this Palmerston North defence in the second half. Palmerston North getting over the top of the ball again, but Silverstream getting players back there. Forbes rumbles and rolls. It's slow coming for Silverstream. O'Connell reaching in uh, to Patilicio. Skip pass, knocked backwards. Still in possession for Silverstream. What are they going to do now? They just have to readjust and get themselves tidied up. Still going. Ball comes down, and this is going to be turned over. They've been turned into a maul. An excellent offence there by Palmerston North boys. And they will have the scrum feed here. Probably eight metres inside their own territory. Roughly about f less than five minutes to go in this match in Palmerston North with one hand on the Wallace Cup so far. And they look destined to have full control of the rest of this match. Defensively have been outstanding in the second half. O'Connor kicks over the top of Harrison Stoop, has to chase back after it. He's got Thompson to Kapua there in support. He gives it to him, but they're under real pressure as the white jerseys swarm around him. Kicks the ball down and well taken by the prop. Here goes Croswell. Passes out to his midfield partner, Tane Harvey. 
Takes it into the 22. Five in from the embankment touchline. Taliawa takes the ball into contact. Centre field, Palmerston North. They stretch the ball out wide. They've really tested Silverstream out there in that department. Slow coming is the ball. Harvey stretches it. Here they go. Here goes the captain who's been almighty dynamic. St stopped in a good tackle. Logan Wallace takes it forward. Hello, older and is still down in back play. So, Palmerston North still in possession of the ball. Silverstream defending a lot better, and they've resulted. And a turnover, and Silverstream will have the scrum feed. Real concerns in back play for Eli Alderain, the captain, as we have time off here, as his wealth here is attended to. Good news, he's back on his feet. He's the medic said he's all, all good to go. And so we have time back on and a silver stream scrum right on the 22. Virtually centre field, southern end of silver stream number one. 30 points to 10, 25. Palmerston North ahead. Free kick against Palmerston North. And the quick tap has been taken. Patilicio passes it out. Roughly 12 away from halfway of Silverstream. O'Connell. Rumbling forward. Palmerston North really been a real menace at the breakdown in the second half and really have nullified Silverstream. Resulting in very little ball for the Catholics. There goes Thompson to power, takes the ball into contact. The counter ruck comes on. Winnie Tana Patislio has the ball just in time. Clean out, comes through. Slow ball. Levi Morgan with the charge. This is better by Silverstream. They're just pretty careful. They don't run away from their support players. Time almost up on our clock. Must be only a minute or two left in this match as we wait what referee Mixtead does with the time. But at the moment, Silverstream struggling to get out of their own half. O'Connell manages to get a penalty as a Pumice North hand was astray. And they've also been March 10 for back chat. So Silverstream potentially here. With an opportunity to kick to touch. And venture into possibly the silver the Palmerston North 22 for the first time and be most of the second half. But they don't. They're going to go for the tap and they're going to have a run. And here goes Tuival. Takes it into contact. Palmerston North swarm around him. But the ball is still available for Silverstream. It's a slow, patient build up. Keeping it tight. But the Luceo looks, darts and takes it into contact himself. And the ball's been stripped. Excellent work there by Buckahal. And Palmerston North have the ball. They're inside their 22. But Silverstream have turned it over. Tuival takes it again into contact. Support players arriving. Mendoza at acting halfback. Slow ball is this field, which is heavy with water, makes it harder to advance into the north. Slow coming, Palmerston North. Holding on. His time is virtually up in this heart match. But can Silverstream score a late upset? They drive forward. Need to protect the ball. They do well. 
Battle stations for Palmerston North. Can they take the Wallace Cup home? It's all on here. Logan Wallace stops the pick and go. Have they got the turnover? Is the ball there for Palmerston North? No, it's still there for Silverstream. O'Connell out to Patalicia. They stretch it right. Takapoa out. Can they score in the corner? One to beat. And they're going to be brought down. Metres short of the try line. Now they have to build up against Silverstream. There's an advantage being played here against Palmerston North. Here's the penalty. Offside is the call. What are they going to do, Silverstream? They tap and they go. And they have a charge. Metres short of the line. Can Palmerston North hang on? The ball comes out. They take it into contact. That could be risky. But Silverstream get enough players back in time. Can they stretch it out wide? Here they go. Harrison Stoop. Is it Harrison Stoop? Can he go over and score? No. There's another penalty against Palmerston North. What a thrilling finish we've got in store here, folks, in this game. Hewitt rumbles. Jumps towards the line. Try! Silverstream score! The scores are level. Just when you thought that Palmerston North had this game in the bag, Silverstream surprised you. Thirty all was the score. The conversion to come. Well, pretty much most of the second half, Palmerston North were in total control. They give it to Silverstream. They hang on. And they've really looked after the ball in this last five minutes. And now a big kick here for Silverstream. Thompson took a power with the conversion attempt. Scores level. This to potentially give the win to Silverstream. Palmerston North charged the kick. Gets over! And that is full time! Silverstream pull off an almighty late charge win against all odds. They look down and out. And then they found something late in the piece. And they travelled all the way up towards the northern end. And a try was scored for Silverstream to lock up the scores. And the conversion, well, it looked like it was going to miss, but it swung back in. And Silverstream win. 32 points to 30. What an entertaining game we've had here, folks, here at Silverstream. It's been a real pleasure to bring you this game. It's been a game of passion, determination, and not giving up. And Silverstream are your victors here this afternoon, winning 32 points to 30. And they keep their hopes alive with a traditional Grand Slam. Many thanks to our cameraman, Louis, doing a great job behind the lens. Apologies in the first half with the internet, but we managed to sort that out. And we got there for the second half. It's been a real pleasure bringing this game on Huddy Sports. I'm Brad Hudson. Ciao for now.